Welcome back to Trigger Point. In this video, we're going to be using the Grid Mini to address the glute. So what we'll do, first of all, we'll put this on a nice stable surface, and then I'm going to set my glute right in the center of the Grid Mini. Now, if this is your first time to ever foam roll, you may want to go to the regular grid, something a little bit larger and has a little bit more stability. But if you've been rolling for a little bit, or if all you have is the Grid Mini, just try to be nice and stable on this, but you'll notice that this right here gives you a fantastic result. So in this position here, I'm going to leave this leg here out to the side. This is going to give me a little bit more of that stability, and it's also going to put that glute on a little bit of slack, so that way I can actually try to change the tissue. Now in this area, we're going to identify two zones. The zone one is basically going to be the meaty part of the glute, and then zone two is going to be up towards the, the lower back, but not directly on the lower back. Now our motions here, I'm going to take a big breath in. As I release, I'm gonna slowly roll down, small motion, and back up. We're gonna move about an inch per second, and we're gonna go through this four times. There's two, there's three, and one more here is four. Now, since this is just a little bit smaller than the grid foam roller, but a little bit larger than the TP massage ball, we're going to combine some of those motions. So from here, we're gonna take a big breath in, as you release, let's bring the knee to the chest and back out. There's one. So here we're pinning the tissue down and making it move just a little bit. There's two. There's three. And one more here is four. So four rolls and four knee bends is what we would use there. One of the cool things about the grid mini, you can also take and turn it the other direction. And this right here will just give you a much different type of a rolling motion. We can roll side to side and we can go back into that pin and stretch technique. So that's how we would use the grid mini to adjust the glute. The cool thing about the grid mini is you can change up its direction very quickly and it gives you a dynamically different feel for those tissues. So give it a shot, let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time.